Now to Capitol Hill, uh, where Boko Haram is on the minds of the U.S. House Foreign Affairs Committee. Republican Chairman Ed Royce and the committee's ranking Democrat Representative Elliot Engel are leading a hearing on the terrorist activities of the Islamist uh, uh, militant group. Uh, per, uh, present at today's hearing is a 15-year-old survivor of a Boko Haram attack, Deborah Peter, originally from the village of Chibok, where hundreds of uh, contemporaries and friends were recently taken captive. She is the second known survivor and the first female survivor of Boko Haram to visit Washington. She is now a student in the United States. She told journalists uh, how her family was murdered before her eyes. They killed my brother twice and um, when, my, when they shoot my brother, that's when my dad died and then my brother fell. And he was moving, they shot in his mouth. Then he died immediately. So after that, I was in shock. So I don't know what was happening. They put me in the middle of my dad and my brother. So they ran away. The next day, nobody helped me during the night. I was in shock. Well, later at the House committee hearing, Engel described how the U.S. would support the efforts to bring more than 200 kidnapped girls home. It has been five weeks since they were abducted. Every passing minute makes their successful rescue less likely. And we meet today to ensure that the United States is doing everything it can to assist in their rescue. Just yesterday. Well, viewers, Cindy Sane has been following the hearings and now joins us live here uh, from the U.S. Capitol. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Vincent. Now, you, would you say the young girl has uh, caught everybody's attention up there? Oh, yes, definitely, uh, Vincent. Uh, there were lines outside of the room before the briefing, the hearing. It was just uh, sitting room only, and there was standing room only, and there were you had to have tickets. And uh, this young girl, who courageously told her story, has definitely got the attention of lawmakers, and she really put a human face on the horrific events that are going on there. And she very matter-of-factly told her story, and she said that she she's praying for those other girls and that she hopes that the Nigerian forces will rescue them soon. Now, really, what are members of Congress proposing to do? Well, Chairman Royce said that these are truly extraordinary circumstances and that, uh, as, as your reporter just said, that while people are deliberating, more girls are being kidnapped and more attacks are taking place. So he is calling for U.S. forces to assist and advise Nigerian forces in planning and preparing a rescue mission. He says U.S. forces have the intel capabilities to track the girls. They are experienced in hostage situations, and this is a hostage situation, and that U.S. forces should help and prepare and organize right up to the rescue of these girls. And there was unity among Republicans and Democrats that the U.S. needs to do all it can to curb the violence. Uh, very quickly, Cindy, the U.S. has already sent a team to Nigeria. Uh, what, what, uh, what more should be done? Well, I think that there is concern that the U.S. may be holding back due to concern about Nigerian forces. But uh, the members are saying every thing should be done, including using intel and all the skills possible to track and rescue. Well, Cindy, thank you very much. Well, viewers, Cindy Sane reporting live from the U.S. Capitol.